Hello, today is Tuesday, the weather is pretty good, <laughs> I mean it doesn't matter that much to me because I'm inside all day. Um, but yeah, I was this past week <laughs> quite sick, I was a bit sad, but at least I could um, do a bit of home office and I could finish Norwegian wood. <laughs> I literally don't have anything that I can put there, so I just put the book there. Um, um, I think the writing style of Murakami is quite good, I really like that, but I'm not sure the book had also quite of like triggers in there and yeah I don't know what you guys think about think about triggers in books uh, trigger warnings in books um, yeah I mean they could take away a lot of from the book before you read it um, yeah it's really difficult but yeah, that book is really heavy and yeah, the main character is really going through a lot, <laughs> so um, I just wanted to say that, but um, yeah, the writing style is really nice, but um, now I'm glad I'm like reading from Ende der Einsamkeit, so the end of loneliness, I guess. It was recommended um by so many <laughs> friends of mine um so i'm excited to read it also a german book and yeah otherwise past days haven't been too exciting you can see i hang up some posters but i can tell you they're huge but since the wall is so tall or so yeah they still look so tiny um I just um, made my lunch meal, which is like German noodles, Spätzle, <laughs> with like a cream, um, vegan cream sauce and mushrooms. I can really recommend the noodles. I bought them at um, Lidl. And yeah, it's kind of also nice to prepare my lunch in the morning because sometimes in the evening I'm just way too um, exhausted, from, exhausted from the day so um, yeah yesterday I spent the evening at a friend's place so that was fun and spontaneous and this week I'm also having some other fun activities in the evening so um, yeah I think it's a good week And today I'm meeting up with a girl to go and have dinner. <laughs> um, I'm really excited um, because she uh, reached out to me a while ago. And I think it's the first time that I'm meeting someone who watches my videos, I think. 
and I didn't know the person. I don't know, I, I think I never had such a meeting before because I also have never tried out like dating apps or so. So I think it's gonna be fun. I made a carrot cake yesterday and I just sprinkled some testatien. Hello, I'm currently in the kitchen of my workplace because today it's not really busy and there are not a lot of people so I can talk. <laughs> Actually, at the moment no one is here. <laughs> um, they're, I think, getting some food or so. But I always try to bring my own from the day before or so and I haven't really um, vlogged a lot the past days because th this week was so quick and um, I was quite tired in the evenings um, but I'm super excited for the weekend and also next week on Tuesday I have one day off because um, it's International um, Women's Day, I think, and yeah, I'm excited to get a bit of rest and see a bit of Berlin again. I also wanted to talk about, um, I wanted to share um, a bit about faith again, because um, till now I haven't had the time really to check out a church or the church I wanted to go to has services online. Someone just came in. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> I tell you, now I really get why the YouTubers try to look for a room where the lighting is good.
because now I'm experiencing how bad it can be. <laughs> Honestly, my light on the top, when I put it on, I, I nearly don't notice it. <laughs> um, obviously now it's dark outside, but um, yeah, there's not really much light coming into my room. Um, so I do kind of miss my room from home. But yeah, I just wanted to wrap up this video and I wanted to continue where I stopped in the last um, talking <laughs> passage um, that um, I wanted to share a bit about faith. So the one day I was really not feeling good. I was really feeling, um, yeah, quite sick, but I went to work and on my way, it's like, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes. I really <laughs> was a bit in pain. So um, yeah, I just started to pray. And back in Scotland, Carl and I tried to, I think maybe like two or three times, try to do prayers where we only do um, thanking prayers. So just thanking for things. And it sounds easy, but I think often we are used to, or I'm used to pray and include um, things that we want God to do or yeah I don't know we have some wishes that we want to get from our hearts and to get off our hearts <laughs> and I started to pray in the train um, and did just like a thank prayer and yeah I don't know but it helped me a lot to focus on the things in that moment where I felt quite sick um, to find the good things Thank you, God, that I'm able to ride this train. Thanks that I'm feeling that good so I can go there. Thank you that I have an internship in Berlin um, and so on. And by that, I went through those um, horrible 20 minutes. Um, and while I was walking, I also imagined, um, yeah, Jesus right next to me and it it really did help so if you're christian <clears throat> or you want to try it out um it helps me a lot yeah it seems so weird that i'm in my room where with no one but this will reach you and so many others um so i'm thinking what i can share but i think what's the most important to share is that try to always be honest with people and i think always and always and yeah just always try to share what you're feeling i think it's so important to say over and over and over again um how much you feel for other people or what you value or like um about them because I think you can never say it too much you can say it five times a day and you could say it more well I guess maybe for some people it's difficult because um, I don't know if you know about those five love languages if not you should definitely check it out I think it's so interesting and you can learn so much about yourself or your um, relationships with other people um, yeah maybe that's something I want to share I think these five I think it's five love langu languages are something that opened my eyes for really other relationships with friends or so thank you again for being here and it was nice having you <laughs> and see you next time. Bye!